All right, councilors. Time not to arrive. I'm going to call the uh, finance committee meeting to order for uh, Tuesday, April 18th, 2017, it being 7 p.m. And again, we are at Garden High School in the Little Theater. Uh, Council Cruz. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. I just want to take a moment. Personal privilege and ask if we could have a moment of silence. The city uh, lost a long time public servant uh, this week. Uh, one of the last of the old time good guys, uh, Martin Froley Sr., who was the uh, superintendent of the water department for many, many years. Worked there since he was uh, in his early 20s and uh, did a great job for the city. Just uh, kept his nose to the grindstone and did great work for the city for years. Been retired for many years, 91 years old, just passed away. And, the mayor of North Warren Avenue, I grew up with his son, Greg, and uh, great family and a great man, and I'd like a moment of silence for Marty for all. Thank you. Thank you. He was uh, definitely an example of what a public servant uh, definition is, so thank you, and our uh, wishes and thoughts go to his family. Uh, councilors, before we get into the, uh, the agenda, uh, relative to agenda item number one, um, it will be read, but I just want to let you know that Mr. Carpenter, superintendent of uh, Parks and Recreation, emailed me. Uh, he's actually, this being school vacation week, he's on vacation with his family, uh, which is a good thing. Uh, he did tend to take the time to uh, send a, a very detailed email relative to this, uh, this matter. Um, I also spoke, and uh, Council Beauregard can, uh, can probably talk about this as well, but I think, I think it'd be uh, the right thing to do to postpone this so Tim could be here. Uh, he said if we wanted to vote on it tonight, we could, but I also think it'd be appropriate to actually invite someone from the utility company to be here as well to answer any questions. Uh, it's kind of a unique situation. It would be located in, in the cemetery, which is kind of a, a unique situation, Council. That's correct, right? So, uh, uh, Madam Clerk, if you could just read agenda item number one, please. form of a motion is properly seconded. All in favor of postponing to the next Fed Council. I'll oppose that matter carries. Thank you, Council. So, um, agenda item number two, please. Resolved that representatives of the Brockton Court Service Center at the George and Covet Courthouse be invited to appear before a committee of the City Council to inform and educate elected leaders and the Brockton community about the support and resources available at the Brockton Court Service Center. Invited Ruth L. Adinka, Esquire, Manager, Brockton Court Service Center. Council Borgott. Oh, this is sure this resolved? No, that she is Councilor Azak. I'm sorry, it's Councilor Azak, but yeah, the matter was to be postponed according to uh, to the council. That's a form of a motion. Is there a second on that? Yeah, yeah. A motion made probably second to postpone the next fin come. All in favor? I'll oppose that motion carries. It's going to be postponed, Madam Clerk, to the next finance committee meeting. Uh, number three, which is the last agenda item on the agenda for this evening, Madam Clerk. Resolved that the Mayor, Director of Planning and Economic Development, Building mm -hmm. Inspector, and the Executive Director of the Brockton Redevelopment Authority be invited to appear before a committee of this Council to review the issues relative to the condition of the two properties, city-owned parcels at 47 West Elm Street, Assessor's Map 91, Route 4, Plot 102, and Map 91, Route 5, Plot 103, West Elm Street and the process that led to the recommendation to the City Council that the Mayor be given authority to transfer such properties to the BRA. Invited Honorable <coughs> Mayor Bill Carpenter, James Cassieri, Superintendent, Public Property, Rob May, Director, Planning, Economic and Development, Robert Jenkins, Director of Community Development, BRA. 
Good evening, gentlemen. I know all, all the invited guests are here. Mr. Mayor, good evening. How are you? Good evening, Mr. President. Yeah, we've got the, uh, the gangs all here, but I'll be happy to bat lead off, and then wherever the councillors' uh, questions go, I think we've got everyone here. Great. Thank you. Um, do you want to just jump into questions? Or do you I, have can, a I can I can kind of a, a, just a general sure. overview and response. Is this yours, Councilor Farrell? No, it is Council Who's Monahan, there? right? Council Monahan, and he's not here. Okay. And uh, you know, just as a matter of professional courtesy, I wonder if that should be postponed until he's here. Could I? Well, Mr. President, if I could add something to the conversation. Sure. Um, one of the things I plan to mention to the council here in my opening remarks uh, is the fact that earlier today we did file a council order request for appropriation for $338,500 to pay for the demolition of the 47 West Elm Street, which is the subject property here. That item will be on the next FinCom agenda. Uh, regardless, so you know, speaking to Councillor Farwell's uh, feelings, we're going to have to be back at the next FinCon meeting to to request that appropriation from the council. So I certainly, I not that you're asking me what I'd like to do, but I certainly don't have any objection to just hearing them all at the same time. Yeah, I mean, it's the will of the council. Um, the fact that again, the protocol usually is when the the petitioner vis-a-vis -vis the council that puts the resolve in isn't here. Out of respect and professional, we do do that. I hadn't heard from Mr. Monahan today. Um, so with that being said, you, you made a motion, is that correct, to postpone to the next finance? And just, just before I do that, I mean, I certainly have some questions, but I think yeah. it's unfair to leave our colleague out of listening concur, to the dialogue. So I'd like to move to postpone this to the next FinCom meeting in uh, May. Uh, motion uh, made, there's a proper second to it, uh, to postpone agenda item number three. And I will speak to Mr. Monahan on it as well, but uh, that's a form of a motion. All in favor, please raise your hand. Sure, on the motion, motion Councillor. A question to the mayor: Is this uh, the postponement going to affect the process that you actually have in place? No. In terms of no, because in terms of the demolition of the building, you know, clearly uh, we needed to come in front of the council and request the funds to be appropriated for that. So I think that, uh, um, say, uh, Mr. <laughs> President, under, under normal circumstances, I might ask for some consideration for the various city department heads that did appear tonight. But I think there's a little bit of special circumstances here where knowing that we've filed the appropriation that's going to be heard at the next FinCom regardless, I don't, I don't think there's any harm in having the entire conversation at once in, in uh, respect to Council Monaghan. Right. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, again, just for the record, duly recognize the individuals invited did appear, uh, but there is a motion on the floor, property sector postponed in the next finance committee meeting. All in favor? I'll oppose that motion carries. It's going to be continued. Uh, postponed until the next uh, finance meeting. So, Madam Clerk, just for record keeping, again, all, all one, two, three agenda items will be postponed to the next finance committee. Chairman, yes? Uh, if you could, uh, since we are here tonight, it looks like we'll be out of here in about a minute. Do you think we could, uh, even though it's not an agenda item, ask Mr. Kassiri if a uh, uh, little bit about the elevator since it keeps for, it's kind of forced us to go on the road? Yeah, by and all maybe means. We're, we have a standard that we could just. I think. Yeah, I no, we like, that's good. A status I get update. questions from the public, and just if we could hear, you know, I know it's not an agenda item, but it's if there's no objection, council, it's, in the, it's in the purview of the council to ask that question. Absolutely, Mr. Casieri. Good evening. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Commissioner, how are you? Good. Uh, uh, and I'm not looking to put him on the spot. I know this one. Uh, just a status but, update. But I, we do get some questions why we are on the road and and. Uh, um, we're not the best on the road. We're better on, as a home team. So, uh, if you could kind of update us where we are and when yeah. we can feel confident about that. Well, um, right now the elevator is running and it seems to be running well. Mr. We had a. Uh, yes, sir. Can I use your sunglasses, Mo? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, um, anyways, what happened was we, if you recall, last year. Um, we set aside some money to repair the elevator and we put the bid package together with a, uh, an engineer's report and when we put the bid out, um, no elevator companies would bid on it the way it was put out. Because whoever wins that bid is going to own the elevator for the entire next year. So they want the, the entire elevator um, or everything replaced, the cables, the motors, the, the cab, everything. And that isn't what we had put together as a, as a bid. 
So now we're rebidding it, and it's going to be, um, we'll be coming to you for some more money. I'll uh, encumber the money that we have set aside. I forget what that amount is. I think it's like 165 But we'll be looking to add something to that, and we'll be putting that out to bid. We're in the process now of having it redesigned. So that's where we're at. But we did find an issue with the elevator that kept, uh, there was a breaker that kept tripping and we finally located it. And I believe, fingers crossed, that we shouldn't have any more problems with it. But I can't guarantee that. So that's where we're at. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the consideration. I just, I, I didn't have the answers for some constituents, so I <coughs> wanted to get an update. About how much more than we've already encumbered, we don't know. I'll let you know as soon as I know. Okay. I hate to guess. No, thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Casseri. Councilors, again, as I, as I declared last week, we're going to be meeting here through the, throughout the month uh, just to safeguard it, and we'll revisit uh, for the month of May. Uh, again, we want to make sure that uh, any and all people that want to attend in person are able to do that. Uh, so the fact that they're operational today, they might not be operational tomorrow. We'll keep our fingers crossed. But again, we'll be here again next week, and then uh, we'll, we'll revisit at that time. Okay? Anything else? Oh, uh, one other thing. This Saturday, keep rocked and beautiful. Go to the Heights Crossing, please volunteer. It's always a great uh, council. Is that go by all means? Uh, no, you're, you're a better cheerleader than I am. <laughs> sure. uh, please continue. <laughs> is it, is it eight o'clock or eight thirty signups? I can't remember. Is it uh, eight o'clock? Eight o'clock at, at, at Heights. Um, they always have donuts and coffee and uh, gloves and rakes. And uh, please go up there again. And at noon, you go back there for uh, for a nice uh, festivity and a nice lunch. So by all means, the more the merrier. Uh, keep rocked and beautiful, Council Lally. You don't need to stand, uh, Council. Well, uh, uh, what is it? April 27th, which is a Thursday at the Brookfield Elementary School. What else is that day, Counselor? This is a test. I, I, I believe it's... I believe birthday. It's, ah, thank you, Counselor. Thank I, you. I yes. knew it, I swear. Duly noted. Thank you. Um, I swear I knew it. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, former uh, United States Ambassador to Cape Verde, Vernon Penner, will be there to talk about his experiences in the State Department and you know, just give a, uh, a general talk. Uh, other accolades of his, he was the first civilian into Lithuania after the Soviet Union left. Uh, he served as the deputy commandant for the NATO Defense College in Rome, Italy. Uh, certainly a, a very interesting man with a very interesting story, a long career in the State Department, uh, a good informative, uh, you know, place to be, especially if you happen to be uh, considering a career in the Foreign Service or something like that. So, uh, you know, if anyone at home, anyone here can make it and is interested, uh, please come by. Thank you, Councilor. Sounds great. Really? 7 p.m. Anything else? Councilor, we've well, got a follow-up by Councilor oh. Isaac. of water rate increases. And uh, once again, I've been on the road, and I was at the Conservation Committee meeting last Thursday evening. And as usual, I encourage those in the community of all ages and backgrounds to consider being part of one of the governing boards in this community. And in this case, once again, the Conservation Committee almost didn't meet, but in the nick of time, someone came to make it a quorum. So this is, your contribution to the community is important. It can be, well, keep our and beautiful day, or it can be on a board, or, uh, you know, other commission in this community. And uh, that, again, you can write your letter of interest and your resume. Again, I emphasize all ages, all backgrounds, and uh, you know the mayor accepts them at 45 uh, School Street, 02301, or you can email them to also to our Senate uh, President. Thank you, Council. Thank you. A moment of personal Absolutely. privilege. Absolutely. I actually would just like to um, wish my oldest daughter, Alexandra, a happy birthday. She's turning 16 on Thursday. Oh, and oh so happy birthday, Alexandra. <laughs> Thank you. That's Say goodbye awesome. to the car. That's <laughs> awesome. And again, Councilors, I, um, last week we, uh, myself and, and Council Bonds and Council Fowell, and welcome back to our colleague who uh, wasn't feeling well, Council Rodriguez. He was there in spirit, but we had a really good, and Council Azak was there, and Council Beauregard, and and, and Councilor Yaneri, uh, we had a really good turnout um, in terms of spirit. Numbers weren't great that night, um, but it was Holy Thursday night. 
um, very religious night. So again, we'll be doing it again. Um, I think we, we didn't have a set date yet, but these are the quarterly Concert at Large meetings. Uh, there will be one in June, we'll come up, uh, the four of us will discuss it, but again, I encourage everybody to be there. It was, it was really what the intent was, counselors. There was a lot of Q&A, a lot of information. It was really a good night. So I hope everybody had a wonderful Easter, and is there anything else before us? If not, this meeting is here by adjourned. Have a good evening. Bye.